Because one of the other big questions that comes up is who's going to step up to Trump in person? And tonight's debate is really somewhat about who looks the part for that, whatever that means to voters. Well, we're going to show you something. If you haven't seen it yet, you got to. Uh, Donald Trump having to deal directly with a protester, calling him out for all of this. Virginia state lawmaker basically gets proverbially in Trump's face protesting at this speech in Jamestown. Right here in Virginia, your predecessors. You hear the uh, delegate there saying, and we're watching this footage, pretty powerful, you can't send us back. The sign you see there says deport hate, uh, the person here that we're about to hear from, ultimately escorted out of the event, but not escorted off the beat. I'm happy to welcome Delegate Ibrahim Samira to the beat. How are you? Excellent. How are you? Thank you for having me, Ari. Um, absolutely. We just saw that footage. I want to understand and our viewers to understand why was it important to you, uh, being a lawmaker, being able to be in that room, um, to use your freedom of speech that way? It was an extremely tough decision to go into it. Uh, this is a, a monumental uh, celebration for Virginia, 400th anniversary of democracy, not just in Virginia, but uh, in the entirety of the Western Hemisphere. Uh, and here we have uh, a president uh, coming and, and uh, uh, espousing all sorts of xenophobic rhetoric, all sorts of hate. Uh, and, and we have here uh, a Jamestown, uh, Virginia, that stands for essentially immigrants coming uh, to the Americas in pursuit of uh, a better life. Uh, and, uh, and, and the, the uh, body that which they created uh, was supposed to be representative and democratic and upholding the values of Virginia, that which we have on our seal, anti-tyrannical. When you, when you decide to do this, uh, you're taking a risk. The president might come after you, which he did. I'm going to show that in a moment. Before I show that, uh, did you factor that in? Did you think that you could achieve something uh, by going at him directly, and, and we talk about civil rights, uh, we all know there's a rich history of direct action in this country, of the idea uh, that sometimes doing things in the same room or in front of the building or in front of the protest is different and more powerful than, than wherever else we may say them. Could you, could you give us some of your thinking about that? Oh, absolutely. I mean, uh, something that sticks in my head is uh, uh, some of my mentors would tell me for every... Uh, for Martin Luther King, for one Martin Luther King, there was a hundred Martin Luther Kings that came before him, uh, that struggled, that that failed. And uh, look, I I, uh, I worked hard in my own life. My parents have sacrificed a lot. Uh, my family has sacrificed in the face of poor immigration uh, policies. My father, in particular, a victim of uh, poor immigration policies of the United States, is federal government. Uh, look, the 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 risk is is unbearable to think of what would happen if we. Uh, uh, allow Trump to just come and energize uh, his base here in Virginia when we have an election in 2019. Mm -hmm. uh, we're looking to win. We're looking to flip the legislators blue. Right. We're looking so to you wanted make to, sure. You wanted to counter him with your own. And talk about a dramatic president. You wanted to counter him with your own message that would be seen and heard. It was heard. Uh, now, let, mm -hmm. as, let's, as promised, look at the president uh, about you. Take a look. The only problem, John, you gave the protester 100% of the time, and it's, I don't care about coverage. And the last thing I need is coverage. But listen, hey, John, 100%, not one word of the speech. And, you know, we were there about the speech. Uh, the protester didn't look so good to me. I'm going to be very nice. But you gave him 100%. <laughs> Your response. Uh, look, the president of the United States has done this time and time again where he wants to shut down media. He acts like he's in a tyranny here. Uh, we are not progressing towards that direction. We're going to make it loud and clear uh, that our constituents here on the ground as Democratic representatives, myself included, of, of Herndon, Virginia, uh, that they are a diverse community that respects uh, uh, equity, that wants to enable more people on the margins to uplift them, uh, to give them good policy, uh, to fight against systemic discriminations yeah. of all kinds. Uh, this is what uh, every Democrat in the country is hopefully fighting for, and this is what this is our pathway to victory I'm, I'm, in 2019 in Virginia and in 2020 uh, all across the United States. I'm about States. out of time, but the last thing I noticed is you basically confronted him over your view and your criticism uh, that he has been discriminatory and racist. And what seemed, according to his own words, to bother him was that you took some of his media time. Uh -huh. Well, 
<laughs> you know, his media time uh, is so valuable to him as, as somebody who's from Hollywood. I, I, I completely understand that to his perspective. Uh, but in reality, look, this is the time for Americans to rise of all kinds, of all types, of all backgrounds. Uh, we're here to uplift people on the margins for the betterment of everybody across the board, their health care, their, their, their pharmaceutical costs, their public health overall, their education. We're here to talk about real policy initiatives that will advance yeah. America forward for the next which is, 100 years. Which I appreciate you mentioning is something we've been we've been discussing throughout uh, the top of our show tonight on a day that, again, like other days, has been uh, stressful for the body politic. Uh, Delegate Samira, thank you so much. My thanks to Mark Morial, Joel Blurg, thank you so and much, Danielle all. Moody Mills, all here in New York with me. We have hey, I'm Ari Melber from MSNBC. You can see more of our videos right here, or better yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel below. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with us, and we appreciate that.